It's a story we brought to you first on RTV6 at 11 this week. A group of community members in Broad Ripple are patrolling their neighborhood by car. New at 11 and only on RTV6, some people who live nearby are concerned about the group being potentially armed and not being inclusive of all members of the community it patrols. Only RTV6 is taking their concerns to law enforcement and the leader of the neighborhood patrols. Here's Graham Hunter. I wouldn't feel comfortable with a neighborhood watch who is villainizing the poor. Thea Noonan first found out there was a group patrolling in the Broad Ripple area on the Nextdoor app. Or villainizing somebody without a nice car. On the app, members of the patrol were addressing a suspicious situation they looked into, with one of the patrol members saying, By the second pass, we concluded that based on the newer Mini Cooper and some other factors, that it was not something of concern. Felt like that was pretty prejudiced. That's when Noonan started asking questions. Have any of you had any implicit bias? Training. I went on to ask if any of them were armed, um, to which they said it would be better off if people believed that we were armed. I took Newnham's concerns to organizer of the group, Matthew Williford. Being armed is not a part of the group. Williford told me at least one member of the group, who he says doesn't do patrols very often, does carry a gun. I cannot force anybody not to be armed. IMPD says it hasn't received any complaints. A spokesman says IMPD is excited to see citizens working together and being proactive about reducing crime in their neighborhood. But Gerardo Becerra, who is a crime prevention specialist in North District where the citizen patrols are happening, says he wants the community to know the patrols are not part of IMPD's Neighborhood Watch program and says it does not have our endorsement as the community-based crime watch does. Is there anyone of color that is has taken part in the no, not on, you know, unfortunately not. Wilford tells me he has not been contacted by anyone of color to join the patrols. When you're forming a group in an area that is predominantly people of color, um, you have to go to them and be like, hey, we're forming this neighborhood group. Uh, would you like to join? Would you like to have a leadership role in what's going on? A spokesperson for Indy 10 Black Lives Matter told me in a statement, the lack of diversity could leave the door open for white vigilantes policing and profiling people of color. Williford tells me his group is working to institute training to prevent bias and says they are working to more clearly mark the vehicles on neighborhood patrol. Reporting in Broad Ripple, Graham Hunter, RTV6. The patrol organizer says he is working to get his group sanctioned by IMPD as part of the Neighborhood Crime Watch program. 